Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mark. In this video, I wanted to talk about the decision-making process. What do we do when we make a decision that doesn't seem to go the way we expected? Uh, how do we overcome this? So if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I release new videos. So one of the the biggest issues that we all face is, you know, we've awakened, we have this access to greater knowing, we've grounded more of our higher self, we have access to higher frequency energy. Um, but when we're making or facing decisions that need to be made here in this 3D reality, oftentimes we'll make a decision and it will maybe move down in a direction that we didn't want it to, okay? And how do we deal with that? Why does this continue to happen if we have access to a greater knowing? Well, we have programming um, that is ingrained in us, okay, in our DNA. There, there are patterned responses that are based on previous experiences, previous traumas. When we have a decision to make, what happens is our ego steps in and our ego wants to protect us. It wants to take everything it knows, okay, which is which is basically the layer of 3D energy that is accessible to it based on prior experiences. And it wants to try to project out the path of one decision versus another. And oftentimes we'll make a decision based on that and move off in a direction and things happen that we didn't expect and it doesn't feel so good, right? Do you guys relate to this? Happens to me all the time, it's still happening to me. These are things that we're being shown that need to be healed. Okay, when we make a decision based on um, trying to analyze all the potential outcomes, we want to take data from a 3D level, we're ignoring our, our intuition most of the time. We're not in our heart center, we're not feeling, and we're moving forward based on ego, based on an expected outcome. Okay, it could be an emotion, maybe a, a, an emotion of lack. If I don't do this now, I'm going to miss an opportunity. Okay, that's an emotion of lack. Um, or if I if I don't do this this now, um, something that's going to happen that that's unfavorable to me and it's not going to feel good. So there's different reasons for making decisions that are ego based, and that takes us off into this energy of 3D, which moves us into the current of um, really having things come up that need to be healed. Okay, so not that it's a bad thing. But if you make a decision based on, on ego, uh, it's very important when things don't go the way that you had expected that you analyze the situation and analyze the emotions that come up at that point in time. And many times that's going to be um, because a decision was made with an attachment to a specific outcome. And when that outcome doesn't happen, we get disappointed. So the lesson there is the soul showing us that we need to detach from an outcome, okay? And I know, you know, people might say, well, if I'm doing something without an expectation of some sort of reward or result, what's the point of doing it? And I'm not saying that, there, that there's no point in doing something because we don't have an outcome. The lesson here is to get aligned before you make that decision, okay? When you get into alignment, before you make a decision and you are anchored in what is right for you, for the highest version of you, and pull it all into the current present moment and detach from any expected outcome and allow the, the feeling, um, allow the, the groundedness, the higher perspective to expand in you, you could start to see a decision um, from a different perspective. Okay, there are many times when we'll make a decision, maybe we'll want to go jump into a money making situation that we maybe don't feel is quite right, but our ego is telling us, well, maybe it's going to turn out good for us. We don't want to miss this opportunity. Um, so you make the decision and then things don't go the way you had planned and you suffer disappointment. Well, when we allow the ego to do that, we are expressing and, and choosing to, to make a decision based on lack, in that case, a lack of, of money, or maybe um, a lack of an opportunity that would be missed if we don't make that decision, right? These are from the standpoint of ego, 
Okay, now when we look at a decision like that from the standpoint of our soul, we can see that a decision might be made because of lack, because of money. These are 3D concepts, okay? And when we could create that space and start to see the emotions and the thoughts that the ego is utilizing to rationalize a decision, we could further anchor ourselves into our heart space and start to feel. And when we do that, maybe we realize that we're, you know, the ego wants us to make a decision based on those 3D concepts of lack and money, but that path might not resonate with our higher good, okay, with our divine path, what we are here to experience, what we are here to do, okay? So that becomes a healing opportunity in the present moment before the decision's even made. We're able to see these emotions that the ego is showing us. Our soul is bringing its energy through because we've gotten aligned and it's projecting out these emotions and these thoughts of the ego, which represents patterns. So we have an opportunity before we make that decision. And then we could say, okay, well, you know what? Moving down that path because of money or potential money is not in alignment with me because the doing relating to that path is not in alignment. It's not what I want to ultimately be doing here um, on this planet. It is not aligned with my purpose. Okay, and that gives us an opportunity to sense that. Now, when we don't sense that and don't feel that, we make that decision, we're going to run in to the suffering that comes with that because our soul is going to continue to show us moving down that path that this is not in alignment. So maybe things aren't going to go our way. They're not going to line up with the expectations that the ego had. So again, down that road, we have an opportunity for healing. But wouldn't it be better to be able to get anchored in before the decision is made and before any important decision is made to get anchored in and make sure that you are in alignment and making a decision that is in alignment with your higher purpose and not what your ego thinks you are here to do. Okay, so that's very important to realize. We want to be able to do that and to hold that energy and make decisions from that perspective. Okay, um, it, it's it's just interesting to me, you know. And I and we what we want to do is is I have this all the time come up, and you feel like you're getting in a situation where you just can't make the right decision, and and that's your soul showing you that you're not in alignment. Okay. So happens to me, I'm sure it happens to you guys, um, because we're, we're so patterned in looking at things from a 3D perspective. And we're constantly being told by our external reality how we need to be living, what we need to be doing, okay? What equals success? So these are the patterns that are running within us. And those are the things that normally are driving these decisions. But when we get anchored and we can ask ourselves, is this decision in alignment with my soul? And when we ask that, we could put aside the monetary aspect of it or any other aspect that's 3D related. And we can make that decision based on our purpose, our divine purpose we move off in a direction that is in more alignment with our divine purpose. And that's what we want to learn to do because we know if we could detach from any expectation and we can anchor in and let our intuition, our soul guide us, we will be provided with everything that we need. And that includes money and financial support and love and relationships, whatever it may be. So we continue to build that energy and expand that energy within us. And we continue to go back to it whenever there is a significant decision to be made. Um, start with significant decisions. And you could actually take that down to you know, every decision that's made, get in alignment, and make sure that that arrow is pointed in the direction of the alignment with your soul and that you're not making a decision based on programming or traumas and things like that. You're going to start to move in a direction that is going to be in alignment with your soul. Now, when we can detach from the outcome, okay, 
And let's say you made a decision that was in alignment with your soul, and yet your still mind is still monitoring if you had gone the other way, and there might have been financial gain in the other direction, things are gonna come up, right? You're gonna feel like, again, you missed an opportunity. Well, that's okay because these are emotions that are, you know, and programming that is within you that is trying to be released. So we get back in, we anchor, we feel these emotions and we continue being to, you know, to be guided by our soul and make decisions from that perspective and you move off. Okay. If you continually make decisions, if again, if I want to use the example of money, um, and, and go down that path and then you're rewarded by money, you're going to continue to want to make decisions based on that and ultimately you're going to realize that there still is some sort of lack here you're not being fulfilled and that's because you're not in alignment with your soul's purpose the universe will fully support you with abundance when you are in alignment and you are acting from that perspective and that's where trust comes in okay the ego is always going to look for the safe path because it's what it knows. It doesn't mean it's going to be the easy path. A lot of times it's not, but it's what it knows. Okay. The ego operates from a very limited bandwidth of knowledge and knowing it's what it's experienced and you know, what, what the traumas it's incurred and things like that. So it's going to continue moving you within that bandwidth based on what it knows. We need to get out of that and we need to operate from a place of trust and allow our soul's energy to flow through us. And the more we can do that, um, and let's say maybe you know we, we move in that direction and something good happened the other way that we chose not to move in, that's okay. We continue to trust because we're being shown something and we're healing it by continuing to trust and continuing to move in the direction of our soul's path, despite what the outcome would have been if we had moved in the other direction. We continue to trust. And as we do that, we're going to start to feel momentum build. And then we're going to start to see momentum build. It's going to manifest out into reality. And abundance is going to flow our way. Abundance of, in love, um, financial support, whatever we call in to manifest will be available to us. So, um, I hope this video helped you guys. You know, this is something that I know probably all of you struggle with and we want to make decisions based on a projected outcome and we feel that we could tap in, into intuition and basically get a glimpse of the future, right? And know which way to move. And if you do that, you're going to run into suffering and run into um, things that need to be healed. Okay. so. It's best to trust. It's best to get aligned. It's best to feel and detach from any potential outcome and move in that direction. And if you continue to do that, you're in alignment with your soul and you will be fully supported. So I hope this video resonated with you guys. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you've experienced uh, this. I'm sure it's very, very common. I know it happens to me a lot. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And then until next time, love and light.